Major League Soccer, week number eight, April 23rd and 24th. Picks and predictions coming up right after the intro. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Mike Guillaume, your host, Sons of a Pitch, Soccer Central. Nick, great job on the weekly recap last night, my man. And uh, we are on to bigger and better things here at SOP Soccer. We got to bounce back this week. Last week was a rough week for picks and predictions. We're going to bounce back just like we did the week before when we hit 58%. Hey, you know what? If you take last week and the week before, we're still hitting at 50% which is still a good number. So to all the haters out there, keep on hating, y'all. That just means we've made it. You're still watching. You're still hitting that like button. It's about consistency. You got to bet all the games. You got to bet consistently every single week if you want to make money off MLS, just like I've told you guys in the past. So let's get right back into these picks and predictions. Smash that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button as well if you're new here and you are an MLS fan, a CONCACAF fan, That's what we do here on Sons of a Pitch Soccer Central. All right, let's get into the first game. First game up, FC Dallas against the Houston Dynamo. All right, this game, uh, this is an interesting one. Houston has been playing decent lately. Dallas, they've been playing okay as well. So last year, this was a mess between these two teams. This year, it's a different story. Dallas looking okay. They're at home. Houston going on the road here in the Battle of Texas. It's a tough one. Minus 120 for Dallas is the odds there as the home team is the favorite. The draw at plus 265 and the Dynamo at plus 350. For me, this game comes down to where it's being played. It's being played in Frisco at Dallas' home stadium. So I'm going with FC Dallas. They pulled out a decent draw last week at Red Bulls. So I'm going to go with Dallas to get the victory at home at minus 120. Next up, we've got Philadelphia Union hosting the Montreal Impact. Philly comes in at minus 160. And we've got the Impact at plus 450 with the draw coming in at plus 300. The Impact have looked better than they did in the beginning of the season. Philly coming off that tough loss to Toronto FC. Yeah, VAR, there was a couple interesting calls there with VAR against Toronto. It was in Toronto. Um, So, you know what? I'm not taking much in that loss for Philly. I still think they're a good team. I don't think they're the best team in MLS, which is where they are in the standings. Um, Well, they were going into last week. But uh, I don't think they're the best team in MLS, but they're still a very good team. Montreal is still on the uptick. And at those type of odds at plus 450, I can't get behind Montreal in this one going to Philly. My pick, Philadelphia Union to get the victory over Montreal, minus 160 odds. Next up, Minnesota United hosting the Chicago Fire. Good God, the Fire cannot seem to score any goals. We don't know if uh, Sheridan Shakiri will be back for this matchup. Uh, we do know that Minnesota does play well at home at Allianz Field. The odds come in at plus 100, double your money for Minnesota United. The draw at plus 260 and Chicago at plus 275. Uh, I picked the Galaxy to beat Chicago in Chicago last week. It ended up being a scoreless draw with no shots on goal. Listen to the interview with Ezra Hendrickson. He's not too concerned about the attack. He knows it will come eventually. The defense is where this team is is really shining right now. So I expect this one to be a very low-scoring affair, but because it's in Minnesota and because the status of Shakiri is up in the air, I'm going with the home team, Minnesota United, at double your money, plus 100 odds, to get the victory over the Chicago Fire. Next, we have D.C. United hosting the New England Revolution. D.C. coming off a brutal collapse against Austin last week. New England, they get back on track. They beat Charlotte at home, which they should do. So don't take too much into it there. DC United comes in at plus 135. The Revs at plus 205 and the draw at plus 255. New England is a good team. They're not great. I think they're going to fight for a playoff spot. They might not even make it based on what they are. DC, same type of deal. These two teams are very, very even. If this game was in New England, I might give the push to the Revs, but because it's in D.C., I'm going with the draw in this matchup. Plus 255, I see the draw between D.C. 
and the New England Revolution. Next up, Austin FC hosting Vancouver Whitecaps. Austin comes in at minus 170 favorites. The draw at plus 320 and Vancouver at plus 475. God bless Vanny Sartini and the Vancouver Whitecaps, man. They are in a really, really rough patch of form right now to start this season. Austin FC, on the other hand, they have great form at home. A very tough team to beat at Q2 Stadium in Austin. Well, then even on the road last week against D.C., that team showed some real fight and metal to get back and win that game against D.C. United. The odds, minus 170 for Austin. I got to go with Austin FC at home over a struggling Vancouver Whitecaps team. My pick, Austin FC to get the job done. All right, Sporting Kansas City and Columbus. Here's two teams that are really, really not playing up to their expectations right now. Sporting Kansas City at plus 140 at home. Draw comes in at plus 235. And then the crew come in at plus 210 dogs. Well, Sporting Kansas City, although they're not that good, they are better at home than they are on the road. Columbus, they're doing well with the expected goals stats, but they're just not putting it together on the field. Now, I know the crew fans are upset. They're like, hey, Porter out. Get rid of Caleb Porter. Caleb Porter's a good coach. Columbus, you'll be fine. Just chill. It's still early in the season. I don't know which way to go in this matchup. I think I like Columbus. Um to bounce back because Sporting KC's just look that bad. Uh, they even looked bad against LAFC last week out. But my heart says that these two teams can't be separated. I'm going with the draw at plus 235 odds. I'm taking the draw in this matchup. All right, before we get to the next one, guys, check out our membership options down below. We've got the little blue join button. Click that button. Get in and join the best community in CONCACAF on YouTube today. First team starter, get your loyalty badges and your custom emojis to use in our live streams, in the comments, etc., etc. And get your name in the scroll below me for only $1.99 a month. Now, if you want to bounce that up a little bit, we've got the designated player for $4.99 a month. We're going to get all that, plus your name in the description and 20% off of Sons of a Pitch soccer merchandise. Then for the sports betters, the all-star membership. You're getting all those awesome perks, plus you're getting exclusive access to my one video a week with my over-under picks, my prop bet picks as in a player to score, and a parlay pick, three-leg parlay pick for the week. $9.99 a month. Be like George Moda, y'all. Win some big money. Guy won over 600 bucks on a $2 parlay ticket from the picks and predictions on the all-star level. Get in on it, guys. If you're on an iPhone, you'll have to go on your computer, sign up that way, and then when you log back into your phone, all the perks will be there. Guys, it's worth it. $9.99 a month. It helps grow the sport of the game here in the United States of America. It helps our business continue to grow so we can bring more soccer and grow this game here in MLS and USA Soccer. It's worth it, ladies and gentlemen. Jump on the train and get in with us right now. All right, let's move on to Colorado and Charlotte. Colorado Rapids hosting the expansion side Charlotte FC. The odds in this one, Charlotte comes in as big time dogs, plus 550 on the road. The draw at plus 310 in Colorado, minus 175 favorites. Mm, Colorado really has not impressed me lately. I don't want to pick them, but Charlotte... On the road is a different story than when they've got that awesome crowd behind them at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. Colorado at minus 175. I got to go with it. I'm going to pick it at Dick Sporting Goods Park. I think they take the W, and that's where I'm going for the Rapids on that matchup. Portland against Real Salt Lake, a matchup of the Western Conference Final last season. Portland at minus 125 odds. The draw at plus 280. RSL at plus 340. Man, RSL, I gave them, I put some faith in them last week, and boy, oh boy, did that bring the haters out because they got crushed. NYCFC's back. That's clear. They needed to get out of CCL and realize that they've got to focus on this MLS season. They did just that and beat down RSL. Now, will RSL bounce back against Portland? I don't think so. It's hard to bounce back off a 6-0 drubbing like that, especially when you got to go on the road to a place like Portland where it's one of the best atmospheres in Major League Soccer. Portland Timbers minus 125 is my pick. I'm going Portland to take it home. 
San Jose and Seattle Sounders. This is the only real tricky matchup of the week for me. Uh, the Earthquakes come in at plus 160, the draw at plus 260, and the Sounders at plus 165. Remember, the Sounders are going to be playing midweek in the Champions League final coming up after this game. We saw what the kids did at home against Miami, and Miami pulled out the W. Now, I know that, uh, you know, I, I ended up putting some money at the last minute on that, on that Inter-Miami game and took some awesome odds to the bank because Seattle played their kids. I saw the lineup. I went with it. Now, guys, when these picks and predictions come out, you can always change. Don't always go with my picks if lineups are crazily changed at the last minute. I always check lineups right before the game to see if anything crazy is going on, like that Inter-Miami-Seattle game, and put some money on Inter-Miami to get the W. Now, they did it. I'm sitting pretty with that win. It's not much, but it helps when you're having a rough week. So, Seattle Sounders at San Jose. San Jose, they're done with Matias Almeida. That nightmare is over. So now, they're going to have that new coach bounce. Seattle, on the road, they've got to get ready to go down to Mexico and play at Pumas in the first leg of the CCL final. I want to pick San Jose here, but I just can't get behind it. Seattle, even the kids, I trust the kids of Seattle to bounce back and beat the Quakes in San Jose. I'm going with the Sounders plus 165. That's my pick in this game, but that can change. Depending on what the lineup looks like for Seattle, we might end up flirting with the draw there or possibly even a San Jose win if their lineup looks good. So keep an eye on this matchup, guys. Don't go crazy on it just yet, but I'm trusting the kids more than San Jose right now. I'm going with the Sounders to get the victory. All right, LA Galaxy, Nashville SC coming up in the next matchup. LA Galaxy minus 105 at home. Draw at plus 250, Nashville at plus 320. Nashville always seems to pull out results on the road. They always seem to pull in some type of, of, a, of a, either a point or possibly a win. And the full three points. The Galaxy coming at minus 105, coming off that draw against the Chicago Fire. They're back at home. I got to go with the draw here. Nashville, I see Nashville scoring a couple of goals and making sure they can at least pick up a point at LA Galaxy. I'm going with the draw at plus 250 odds. Good odds there for the draw. I like the draw for Nashville and LA Galaxy. All right, next up, a battle in the South. Miami against Atlanta United. Oh, got to scoot over here. My, my graphics are getting in my way. Uh, Miami and Atlanta, odds come in at Miami plus 140, the draw at plus 240, and Atlanta at plus 190. Miami showed some metal in that game at Seattle beating the kids. Now, Atlanta United isn't going to be playing kids, so that's a different story. But Atlanta United's form at on the road is absolutely horrendous. Horrendous form on the road. Atlantis can't seem to fight their way out of a paper bag at when they're when they're on the road. Now at home, different story, but they're coming off a draw against Cincinnati at the Benz. Miami coming off that win in Seattle. That's a character building type win. I'm going Miami to continue on that build and get the victory over Atlanta in Fort Lauderdale. Next up, Orlando City against the Red Bulls of New York. Orlando City at plus 135 odds, the draw at plus 220, and the Red Bulls at plus 220 as well. Orlando, they're looking better. They're starting to come to as a team. They've got Oscar Perea, a hell of a coach. The Red Bulls, they seem to be kind of meddling after that really great start that they had in the beginning of the season. Orlando at home, I'm taking Orlando. I think they get it done over the Red Bulls. They beat out that press and get the victory at home. My pick Orlando City at plus 135 odds. All right, two games to go before I put my spreadsheet up for you guys to take to the bank. Write them down. Give me hell in the comments. A few of you that seem hasn't seemed to bother you lately. And uh, you know what? Let's ride with it. Cincinnati, LAFC. Cincinnati at plus 235. The draw at plus 270. And LAFC is favorites on the road. Plus 105. LAFC is firing on all cylinders right now. Cincinnati, they're going to try and build off that draw at Orlando but I don't think they can. LAFC, they're pretty much, you got to pick them every week with how well they're doing right now, especially up against a weak Cincinnati team. I'm going LAFC to continue their role at the top of the Western Conference, plus 105 odds. To get double your money for LAFC, I'm going with it. I'm taking it. Let's roll with it all the way to the bank. Last game of the week, New York City against Toronto FC. 
New York City coming off that thrashing of RSL. Minus 265 favorites, the draw at plus 290, and TFC as the biggest dogs of the week at plus 750. Now, you guys know I've been harping on TFC's been getting results lately. I didn't pick them last week. I should have. It was funny. I was talking to Jay Jardine, and uh, I'm like, dude, I got a feeling about this game. I think TFC's going to pull it off over Philly. They did. I don't have this feeling for this game. New York City at Yankee Stadium. Oh, wait. It's not at Yankee Stadium. It's at City Field. So it might change things just a tad, but I don't think it's enough. New York City, I think they're just... They're going to bounce back. They know they've got to get their crap together in the MLS season and start building up some points. They're pissed off about some of the calls that went against them against Toronto last game or two games ago in BMO Field in Toronto. I think New York City lays the smack down this week and beats TFC fairly easily. Um, But you never know what Toronto FC and Bob Bradley and what he's doing with those young kids too. So I'm going New York City as my pick, minus 265. That's what I'm rolling with. All right, guys, I'm going to put up my spreadsheet now. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Hit that subscribe button as well. Haven't figured out which game I'm going to be live for this weekend. I know we've got a crazy Saturday. It might be a Sunday game. I don't know. I'll put it up on the community post for you guys. Thanks for watching. Let's go get some more money. Let's bounce back after last week. We're going over 50% again this week. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day. Enjoy the games this weekend, and good luck with your bets. See you soon.